scavenging here and a matter queen showed up then wrapped it on it was a void blast mess i ran in here and um now the door's locked little help Without a snack. I'll be here if you change your mind, on account of I can't do anything else. Oh, hey! You... Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. Don't so look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross.
sure. Beats not. Huxley! I'm an Iconoclast runner. The Iconoclast runner. Fastest we've got. Ain't a raptodon on this void forsaken hellhole that can catch me. I'm. Uh, I'm. <sighs> Sorry. Put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, you know? Oh, that'd be my people. Graham and Zora and Milton and... I really miss them. You gonna let me out of here? I wanna get back to Amber Heights. My buddy locked me in here. I told you that. It was for my safekeeping, on account of raptodons wanting to munch on my head. But, I mean... Okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just... Part of the life, all right? Sometimes you gotta hide in a trash can so you don't get eaten by monsters. Oh, uh, <laughs> neither was I. Who'd hide in a trash can? Gross. Probably. I don't know. When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. But I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? That's true. Okay, fine. Here. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... <laughs> hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Thanks a lot, mister.
your family life, Felix? Did you never know him? I never knew him. I was a stowaway. And you should know, you're getting excellent reviews from across the company. What can I do for you? You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. I didn't mean for any harm to come to you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. No, I am a company man. Oh, perhaps they were right. After all, what have I built? Stellar Bay is barely keeping afloat. Please, I, I can't think about this right now. Celia, schedule 30 minutes of inconsolable weeping later today. I'll pad it out with an extra 15, sir. Now, was there something else you need? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Wait, we're dropping a bomb on the board? Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. Help us with this final matter and we won't need to broadcast anymore. You have my word. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. Is it really illegal if the board's the one that makes the rules in the first place? If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. I'm sorry, who?
Ah, them. They're hardly a corporation. More like a jumped up. The evidence I'm hoping for would implicate one of the board powers. Anti-Cleo's Spacer's Choice UDF. Not that we don't appreciate your diligence. Did you know June Lake, grown up? Edith Tennyson? Nah, she never looked my way. I knew of her, though. Who didn't? She was just about the business. Yes. Knock, knock. Go away, White. That's not how the game works. I say, knock, knock, like I'm on the outside of a door. And you say... I swear to the architect, I will punch your lamps out. Oh, uh... Having a rough day? I lost a shipment out for delivery. Barely made it out. Marauders got Keeley. Oh. Catherine is gonna flay the skin from your fingers. I know. I don't think I like Miss Catherine. Not just... Judging from the blood spatter on your shirt, I take it you visited my favorite cleaner? Sure. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsome. We are friends, but them who push me end up dead. Look, I don't know if this is related, but it ain't escaped my notice that one of my regulars been lingering a little too long at the gambling bar. She's been acting twitchy, even for her. Ask at the bar about a customer who shows up bi-weekly. My staff may know more. Winning or losing, it's all the same to me. What's your order? Let me think back. 
Yeah, I got a regular who's been twitchier than normal lately. Every time she bets, she loses big. Then she pounds a mountain of daiquiris upstairs. You ought to ask Yvonne. She'd know Ms. Twitchy better than me. A stool pigeon. So, what's your story? Well, it does ring a bell. I remember one lady. She never penned a name in the book. Her friend Huxley placed the collateral for her. Huxley's with the iconoclasts. Know of her? She's not quite all there. <laughs> Does give her trouble from time to time. Once she got stuck in the bathroom, had to break a window to get out. Anywho, she's probably in Amber Heights with the rest of Graham's iconoclast folks. Seems like a nice little town, except for all the dead critters. Ah, oh, hello. Good to see you again. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me, except being locked up. Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg foot area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. Huh? Why? Oh, ha! You're funny. Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up but good. 
I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Oh, she's such a gem. She gambles with me whenever I've got time to stop through Fallbrook. Ooh, I bet she's hiding. Does that when she owes people money. Ought to leave her be, though, if she doesn't want to be found. Ah, oh, you're right. We're always told to quit with the materialisms and stuff. I ought to be helping her to come to the light. She's got a secret hideaway out in the middle of nowhere. I'll mark it on your map. It's pretty busy for an abandoned facility. Here, I want a key to the back gate off her. But I ain't going near that place. Well, I ain't gonna use it. And ain't nobody gonna buy it if they don't know the place exists, so... Besides, you help me, I help you. That's what friends do. She was digging real deep for that game. I think it was about the last thing on her. Exciting, isn't it? Um, hmm. Oh, once she did tell me about this one time when she set off an alarm outside the back so everyone would clear out. I don't remember why she did that. She was kind of drunk, though, so maybe she made that all up. You got me. If it's anything like the rest of Monarch, I'd take weapons with you just in case. Yeah, only there are people there. Okay.
I'm going.
On my way. I can do that. <laughs> Incoming! <laughs> been one ugly fight. We ought to see if anybody's still alive. They might be too weak to call for help. Down. 
Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Well, you don't gotta be mean about it. What are you doing out here anyway? That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but... I not through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. Sounds right. If you got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook just as soon as I've caught my breath.
You ever seen a real life Saltuna? What do you mean live? Saltuna comes in can. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. My plan's better. Oh, what's your plan? You skip all the paperwork and reorganize the board quick and violent-like. A so-called hostile takeover. Hmm, a daring notion, but often an expensive one, and fraught with unforeseen consequences. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52, with that data you're holding, of course. That seems unnecessarily com- It's actually very funny, sir. Now I'm confused. Do you have evidence against UDL or not? I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us.
You look like a man who's looking for some most... I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought... Ma Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years. But he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a Manta Queen for the last display. He left the veil, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Sure, they're real big. Hard to miss them. Well... I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett, but I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what, I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Thanks, Captain. All right then, leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. Last Mana Queen I saw was in the wilds out that -a ways Could be Mr. Pickett's still out there too.
A reminder to all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal. He'll probably be wanting it back. You see any sign of him? Funny place to leave a journal. But what about Mr. Pickett? That's pretty sad. He sure seemed like... He used to tell the kids crazy stories about halcyon wildlife. Later I learned most of it was wrong, but it was the thought that counted. Then one day he just disappeared. Never heard anything about him again. So this journal is all he left behind? Seems like I ought to read it. Looks mighty long though. I bet she'll like that. She's real enthusiastic about all sorts of monsters. It'd be nice for there to be some good come out of this. In any case, I appreciate you tracking down Mr. Pickett for me. Here's some bits for your trouble.
always wanted to poke through a high cane wireless. They only got one on Terra 2, you know, up in Byzantium. Wonder why they call it Devil's Peak. It ain't really a peak. It's, you know, two peaks. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? We did what we could, as best we could. Should probably leave it at that. Hmm, is that so? I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here.
Eternal, no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? However, you're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. If that's really all, let's just get it done with and be on our way. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior, but I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. Take care out there. Captain! Big flaming thingy! ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you blood doing on my channel? Did MSI, or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram! Hiram, are you there? Allow me to save you the trouble as I fling myself from this tower. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Par for the course, really. You should do like I did. Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. 
we could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my bored damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Dead center. Next round's on you. Shh, the captain's coming. Put your gun away. Act casual. Oh, uh, um, yes. This'll about do. That's a mighty clean weapon. Yep. Ain't no call for a closer inspection by anybody.
brought a ship to my stomach to turn it. Thank the boy for alcohol. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal... They're ecstatic. battery levels before initiating an extended sanitization session. Captain, I've been attempting to contact you with urgent news. However, communicational functionality was impaired due to the power outage. A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop... I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. So glad we finally have this opportunity. My ship is docked with 1084. There's no escape. I think not. The refueling system at Cascadia's landing pad logged your ship ID. You've been poking your nose into restricted locations. This makes my superiors unhappy. I could peel your ship open like a can of boris. But I'm in a sporting mood. Sublight? Ugh. I hate it when you outlaws organize. The paperwork for killing you would be the death of me.
That's kind of you to ask, but we have a tight schedule. It's open season on trespassers. Squad, I'm ordering a recall. There's a misspelling on orders that ought to be corrected. On the double. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. Nice going, boss. You got a real fine way with words. Analysis. External fill sterilization measures employed. Caution. Contact with electrical currents can be lethal to customers.
Something? We might be the finest agent sublet ever hired. Chartrand. Chartrand. I've seen that name before somewhere. Cascadia, right? Not today, Sam. I am not in the mood for a deep clean. Oh, all right. Some culprit, who shall not be named, spilled Rizzo's lemon slap on my console. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. What a mess! What a mess! 
Stay safe out there. Unbelievable how good it is. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? Ugh, I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. We might have figured that out already. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. No, they were hiding something the colony isn't ready to know. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. I knew it. Aliens from other worlds been visiting Halcyon. At least one of your crew can keep an open mind. But this isn't some Aetherwave serial millstone. This is reality. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. 
I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Damn, she's serious. Tragic, ain't it? What age does to your mental faculties? The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for set. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Tobias, get my knife. The big one. That was a joke. Ha ha. We each get one. Now, back to business. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. She's a research scientist, and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in Sisty Pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add Savior of Humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on Alien Salvage. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. This keycard will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything, Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that.
Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain.
You seen Arthur today? Hey, I remember Cascadia from that one episode of Terror on Monarch. Crawling with monsters it was. Dispensing body bags.
Readying for standby mode upon command affirmation. Entering mode now. I'll keep an eye out. Go on ahead, boss.